No more excuses, no more online arguments, and please, no more campaign ads. It's time to vote. Election day is upon us, and to say it's a big one would be an understatement. Presidential election, a hotly contested U.S. Senate race, picking a new governor for the state of Indiana, countless local elections. A lot is on the line, and it's up for us to decide what happens. So we here at The Drop want to make sure you're heading to the polls prepared and ready to change the world. First, you're going to need to know when and where to vote. Polls are going to be open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and if you're not already registered, sorry, see you in 2020. You can confirm your registration by going to indianavoters.in.gov, and while you're there, scroll down the page and find your polling place. Once you get to the right spot, make sure you have a state or government-issued ID that displays your name and your pretty face. The following things are not required but are recommended. First, some headphones and a dope playlist for long waits. Advil for irritation. The religious text of your choosing for clarity and guidance, a garlic necklace to ward off evil spirits and over-aggressive campaigners, and a clothespin for your nose to block out any repulsive odors that may waft in your direction. Next, you're going to need to know who you're voting for. Head over to the Indiana Voters Guide, type in your address to get a ballot of races that affect you. Then read up. Go to IndyStar.com and all of the other USA Today Network sites for in-depth coverage. Learn more about the candidates by going and poking around on their respective websites. Or you could just go to Facebook and scroll down your timeline because everything being posted on Facebook right now is super reasonable and legit. Yeah. And finally, when it's all over, you're going to need to blow off some steam. IndyStar reporter Liz Biro has a list of great places to party or panic come election night, and it includes everything from checking it out at a local brewery or watching the results come in on the big screen at an AMC theater. And no matter how it goes down, don't worry, I'm sure we'll all have something to argue about again real, real soon. That's it for The Drop. Now get out there and cast your vote.